I once wet myself in a car and then blamed it on my friend's dog. <laughs> David. Right. Um, I mean, it's... I'm willing to believe it. I'll say <laughs> that at this point. Why did you wet yourself in a car? Because I needed a wee in a car. <laughs> I've needed a wee in a car, but I've never weed in a car. I was once stuck in a very long a line of traffic trying to get onto the Seven Bridge on the M4, and I let myself go in a one-litre bottle of Volvic. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on the motorway, and my problem was I was really desperate, and I had a bottle of water, and I had to drink the water. <laughs> was saying, oh, no more water. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a terrible cyclical thing. No yeah. sooner I got it down, it was out again. <laughs> I didn't want to draw attention to myself because <laughs> people might pull up either side and I'd clearly, by my facial expression, be urinating at that <laughs> oh, Please show us that face. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is obviously just for everyone but me, a commonplace occurrence. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know, basically... Lavatories are just for me. <laughs> what a great what? name for your autobiography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you blame the dog to, if you see what I mean? Uh, to the mechanic uh, when I took it in for a valet. <laughs> <laughs> so whose car was it? My car. Your car. You peed in the car. Yep. Uh, were you in a, is there a good reason for that? Were you in a traffic jam after a large bottle of Evian? Oh, it's, uh, well, just tap water, probably. Um... Right. <laughs> I've never been in a car with a tap, so, you know... <laughs> it's a very posh car. All right. Um, yeah, I was stuck it's in it. It's so posh, it's plumbed in. <laughs> it's literally got gangs of people following it with pipes. <laughs> well, to be fair, if it was plumbed in, I'd have probably had a toilet in there as well, wouldn't yes. I? <laughs> I've never done this, but is it conceivable... Because as a woman, you don't really have much control over where it's going. But as a man, is it conceivable you could aim it out of the window? <laughs> you could, you could, but the speed you were going at would mean it all came straight yeah. back into you. This is all... <laughs> so, when you got to this mechanic, what did you... Uh, what did you say? I mean, was the stain so clearly visible? No, it had sunk right in. Was he a bit confused that the dog was driving? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it wasn't on the driver's seat. You change seats oh. to the <laughs> That is dangerous. <laughs> you change seat in a traffic jam where you're in control of the vehicle. Yes. You can't buy class, can you? <laughs> <laughs> if I looked in a rear-view mirror, I'd think that passenger looks very, very content considering there's no one driving. <laughs> <laughs> thinking, David? What do you think, Ray? I just think Sarah is the kind of strong, independent woman who would <laughs> step out of her car, stride to the hard <laughs> shoulder, <laughs> and say, just go... <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then do it. Yeah. Bill, do you believe it? Yes, I right. think it happened. Well, you think it's true and you think it's a lie. So I have to decide yes. which I hate. No, um, I think... I think it's true. I you think it's it. true? So, yeah. OK. So, in that case, Sarah, truth or lie? It is, uh, true. <laughs> well done, David. Oh, you listen to that in the future. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> I was stuck in traffic for two and a half hours. I was in absolute agony and thought it was the only way out, and it was either that or rupture something, so I just... Moved across, stripped. <laughs> Weed, moved across, pulled back up, champion. Well, there we are. And uh, if you've been affected by any of the issues raised on tonight's show, 